What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. So it's Sunday morning, and I was thinking, you know, what are we gonna do today? What am I gonna What am I gonna record? NFL Sundays are not a good day, at least not not for my channel and most of the people that I do talk to. The NFL is king. It's gonna It's gonna kill you. But I like to put out content every day. It's important to put out content every day. And so here I am. So in thinking, what am I going to put out? I wanted to go back to something that came out the other day and just reiterate my feelings, my thoughts, as well as give some shine to another channel. So we had a couple of days ago, a few days ago, a PSA that that Tortilla Flats issued a green light on all blacks in Compton, right? And as soon as I saw it, I said to myself, this, this ain't legit. Um, and, and I did a video on it. And here's, here's, here's the sad state of affairs. And this is what, as content creators, we need to be aware of and keep our eye on. We don't know who put that out there. We don't know that fake ass PSA. Who put that out? What is their ethnicity? What is their nationality? What is their affiliation? But we kind of realize what their end, end game is, right? What their goal is. To see something erupt in Compton. And po Compton is a powder cake. So many different neighborhoods, so many weapons. So many uh, gang members. It would be it would be a tragedy for something to jump off big racially there in Compton because it would quickly spread, because other people in other areas aren't going to be feeling that right. And so I immediately put out my my opinion, but what I wanted to say that is important is and that we pay attention to is Damian Porter is a friend of mine. And I was in my comments defending him because people were saying he's a racist, that he wants to start a race war. He ain't no racist, man. He doesn't want to start a, a race war. He has an opinion and a way of speaking that maybe some people don't like. And it's the same for me. And it's the same for a lot of content creators. But what lies within a man's heart isn't what you may perceive or comprehend when you're trying to listen to his words, right? A lot of people I've noticed on social media, they listen with a bias. They listen to look for something and no matter what the entire message is, if the person says one thing that can be taken out of context in their mind, it is, it is in exactly in the right context. It's a trip. It, it really is a trip. But I want to say this, and I want to point this out. So we have a video. I saw Compton Rick Rock in in, uh, in our chat the other day in the live, and I want to I want to shout out Compton Rick Rock TV. I want to ask you guys to go over to Com uh, Compton uh, Rick Rock TV. I want you to tell him Dub sent you. I want you to go and check out. He's got a video called Compton T Flats Issues Warning. And people were saying, well, you're not from L.A. and you're not from Compton. I've done time with them. I know how they think, right? But Compton Rick Rock. Compton Rick Rock is from Compton. And I want you guys to check out that video, man. It's got almost 40,000 views on my end. You know, as content creators, we know the real number when we pull up our YouTube studio. So I'm sure for him, it's already over 40,000. But for us, we see 39,000, I think it is. That video, like the video I said the other day. That video should have at least 100,000 views, man. Like, if people really want... Here's my advice, man. If something else comes up about Compton, do me a favor and go check out Compton Rick Rock TV. He's right there. He grew up there. He's got his finger on the pulse. He knows the area. He knows how people think, how they react. So go over there. You know... I try to give my, my opinions based off of my life experiences. Like I said, I've been, I've been 
doing time with 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 big dogs from neighborhoods all over LA County, San Diego County, IE, everywhere. Starting as a teenager, man. I've had in-depth conversations with legends from several different factions. And so I have an understanding of, of the thinking, right? At the end of the day, myself, I don't want to see a war happen like what happened in the 90s. And like I said in my video, the way this younger generation is, I don't see them seeing the race, the color lines, man. They see gang affiliations. That's what they see. Look at the way they dress, how they talk. It's not, it's not the old days, man. And those people that are my generation or older that are trying to bring that shit back, man, you guys get out on the streets. Get in your walkers. Get on your little scooters, your little medical scooters. <laughs> uh, I know I shouldn't clown there, but I'm serious, man. Like, let these youngsters live, man. Let them do it. They got it bad enough, man. Dinosaurs don't need to be adding fuel to the fire. For what? For what? To say, oh, my neighborhood. It, it, it just reminds me of like when, you know, those of us who were really fools in the neighborhood that were really doing stuff and we went to the joint and then we have dudes right now, this day, the same age as us, a little bit older, and they did a level two term. They did two years, two two terms on a level two, maybe two two terms on a level three, maybe a soft level three. And they're out there in the neighborhood and, and these youngsters look at him like, man, that's the older homie. He's been in the joint. Yeah, but he was never doing nothing in the joint. He wasn't doing nothing in the neighborhood. And that's how I feel about these dinosaurs that want to stir the pot right now and have these youngsters warring with each other based off of race. It's not what it is, man. Check out Compton Rick Rock's story. Check out that video, man. Compton T-Flats issues warning. I'll put it up somewhere here on the screen. He talks about during the Peace Walk how certain neighborhoods were being disrespected and one of them was Tortilla Flats. So what did they do? They went and disrespected a mural. They disrespected a mural. And on that mural, you see CVTF on one end and you see Santana Black Compton Crips on the other end, right? But you only heard about the CVTF. That's all you heard about. And Davato wrote PK for Pyru Killer. He didn't write... NK, but that's what you heard about too. You heard about something that wasn't on the wall. So you got to ask yourselves, who are these dudes, man? Who are these dudes? Like, you know, for those of you that know, the Black Panther Party was infiltrated. The CIA infiltrated them through their own members. Turned some of their own members. They were part of Cointel Pro. You think that they won't do that with gang members? In South Central, Compton, Watts. You think they won't do that? Anywhere in LA? Anywhere where they get to powder cake? I mean, if those of you that, that are old enough to know, um, who brought crack to, to LA? It was the CIA, man. I don't want to get into that whole thing, but I'm just saying, man, there's there's an agenda. We don't know what it is, but we could we could get caught up in it, man. A lot of people could get caught up in it because it could it could spread fast like a wildfire. We don't need that. We don't want that. Anybody who's been to war isn't quick to get back into one. You respect your adversary. And uh, this ain't our time, man. It's not our time. So we shouldn't be sticking our nose in that. Let these youngsters figure it out. I think they pretty much have, man. It's unfortunate that people are still gangbanging in this era, in this day and time, after all these years of seeing how many people died, how many people were incarcerated paralyzed i'm telling you i will not be impressed i will never be impressed by someone's ability to kill i've done it it's easy i'm impressed with someone's ability to create businesses and employ other people and bring up their community and bring up their family that's impressive that's what i'm trying to do right now with that said, that's my video for today hopefully you guys enjoyed it everybody please be safe be smart and tell the ones you love that you love them I'm out of here.